Let me give you a little tour of this beautiful vehicle that I've got for sale. It's a 2002 7.3 liter diesel Power Stroke Ford E350. Thing gets great gas mileage considering it's a school bus and an RV. And we've got this thing converted to be fully livable off the grid or on the grid if you want to plug in. We've got that option too. So I'm going to give you guys a tour starting with the outside. Here we go. Making our way around. Here we've got the gas fill, but right next to it, we've also got an exhaust for the heater that I'll give you guys a closer look at in a bit. And right on the back, we've got our propane tanks, two 30 pound propane tanks right there. All right, and we're gonna take a look at the back door here. Opens right up. And I like to call this area the garage. So right here, we've got our fresh water tank, the platform on top of it for putting anything you need. And then if we turn over to the left, this is where we have our heater and AC with a little bit of a wall so that nothing bumps over and jostles those around. All right, and plenty of room for putting whatever you want back here. Making our way around. And right here we've got our water fill. I've got 16 gallon water tanks here. And right here we've got our plug for shore power. Charge your batteries or run anything you want if you don't feel like using up your batteries. All right, and we're gonna make our way inside. Opening it up. Take a look at the cockpit up front here. It's pretty stock in the front, what you'd expect to see from a school bus. A little bit of a cup holder add-on right there for when we're driving. And we're gonna turn around and take a look at the fridge. So this is actually a propane fridge. The only power it uses is 12 volt uh, to regulate it, but the main power source for this is actually propane. And I've found that I can last like four months on my two uh, 30 pound propane tanks in the back, and that's cooking every day and running the fridge 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The fridge can also run on 110, so whenever you plug in to that plug I showed you guys on the outside, the fridge is going to automatically stop using propane and switch to the 110 um, and just run it on electricity. So now I'm going to spin around, and right here we've got some drawers, three super big drawers here. Give you a look inside, deep, go way back there. All right. And then right here, we've got a bit of a cubby. That I have a lot of people stay with me in my bus, so uh, that's where I have people throw their bags and stuff like that. I've got another bit of space up here on top. And now we're gonna turn towards the couch. I usually keep a cushion on this thing um, because it's also got the option to flip, flip down. Oh man, that's harder to do with one hand than I thought it was gonna be. All right. So there's the bed right there. Uh, so what I normally do is I just flip the couch cushion off, throw it on top, and it doubles as the mattress. And right here we've got our curtains up, but if you want a bit of privacy, those just fold right down. They're magnetic, so flip up, flip down, super easy. All right, we're gonna turn our attention towards the rest of the kitchen. Right here we've got a four burner stove. Runs on propane right off the back too, and an oven. Nice big oven, plenty of room for our pizzas, lasagnas, whatever you want to throw in there. All right, overhead storage for all your cooking utensils, spices, food. Forgot to mention we got a bit more storage up here on top of the fridge. Keep chips or whatever you want to do. And same thing with these curtains on this side. Got a metal bar right up there and they just magnet up and down, whether you want privacy or not. And sink, I believe this sink is 17 inches. Also, it's got a 16 gallon water tank um, for fresh water and a 16 gallon holding tank underneath. All right. Now I'll take a look right here at this cabinet. This is where I like to keep all my uh, extra blankets and stuff like that. All right, now I'll take a look at the outlets here. So right here, we've got an on off switch. This just controls the water pump. As you can see, plenty of water flow. All right, flip that off. Right here, we've got an on-off switch. So this controls the power converter. If you turn that on, then these 110 outlets will work because the battery is only 12 volt. But if you turn this on, these 110 outlets will work as well. All right, and right here, we've got our USB outlets and those are running all the time. Those are just 12 volt, plug in your phone or whatever you want.
All right, and right here we've got our climate control. So I've got a 12 volt super efficient air conditioner in here. Just a flip of a switch, you've got AC on, the battery will run that for 30 hours um, until it runs dry. So you don't have to worry about this thing draining your batteries too quickly. All right, and the heater is amazing. Five kilowatt diesel heater. We've got a power button right here to turn it on. And uh, it just, again, pulls a tiny bit of power to regulate it, but the main power source is diesel. So on this thing, um, I was pulling less than a half gallon a night of diesel, running it for about 12 hours. And I was living in Tahoe um, in the middle of the winter while it was blizzarding at 7,200 feet elevation. So that heater is super efficient and it's got a thermostat and everything. I kept it at about uh, 70 degrees during the winter and it stayed nice and warm in here all the time. It was never cold. All right, take a look at the mattress. This thing is a twin long. So uh, I'm 6'2", and I slept on it just fine. Um, yeah, it's pretty long. Not the widest, but certainly does the trick. And then right down here, we've got storage. I had a bunch of plastic tubs lined up along this thing. There's a bit of a lip here, so they won't go flying anywhere. All right, and even more of it down here. And I'm hiding the other half behind this thing. Boom. Folded right back up. And there's more storage right in there. And one more cubby. We've got the wheel all right there. This is just where I toss all my shoes and stuff. So we've got a little bit more storage. You can just throw stuff in there. All right. And the last drawer. I forgot to show you guys this one. Biggest drawer. Two handles. Little clip. Huge drawer. So I kept all my winter clothes. All right. And that's going to do it for the tour of the school bus. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. That cup holder also folds up. All right. Send any questions my way and I hope you guys like the tour.